Hello everybody and welcome to a quick little tutorial on a Batania Pure Daisy automation with the Steve's Factory Manager block gates. So you want to start out by setting up your inventory cables down along the ground. Then you want to place the block gates that will set up the wood and stone for the pure daisy to work with. Put down your inventory manager in your chest and then you want to grab some well any sort of block will work I'm just gonna go with glass but Steve's factory manager likes to put its blocks two in front of the block gate so you can put something in front of here to do that uh, if you're doing blood magic, the little blood lamps work pretty good too, and you can walk through them and they're clear. So yeah, those work. But then you want to head into here, make a trigger. I set mine to two seconds. And then you want to create two container variables. The first one is going to be called block gates. And then inside of that, you want to put all the different block gates. Cool, and that one's going to be white. And then the next one, we're going to call current. C-U-R-R-E-N-T. And we're going to change that one's color to orange. And we'll just leave this one over here. Don't put anything in it. So next you want to make a for each loop, put that, connect those, then you want for every block gate, and when it's going through it'll assign it to the current one. Then you want to take an input from the current block gate on the upside so that you're grabbing from the top there. And you want to have an empty blacklist so it'll pull in everything. Cool. Then you want to create an output because that will grab the uh, blocks from those chests. And then you want to output to the chest. Doesn't matter which side, it's a chest. And empty blacklist on that as well. And actually, you want to whitelist um, living wood and living rock so that you don't pull in half-completed stuff. Yep, almost forgot. So then, you want to create a condition to see. So once you've pulled in your possible living wood and living rock, then you want to check in the current block gate upside you want to check if there is any of stone or the log you're looking for I'm gonna just go with oak logs at the minute or cobblestone because the block gates look for what you get if you broke it um, then you want the living wood and living rock as well. So basically if there's anything above it, then you don't want to put one in. So then you put that up there. Cool. So if that is false, you want to make an input from the chest. And you want to whitelist um, stone and oak logs or whatever log you're using cool so if there's nothing there then you want to make that input and you have to choose a side let me pull this out a little bit then you want to create an output and this will depend on whether you want to prefer making living stone or living wood, I'm going living stone. So then you want to output to the current block gate on the upside, and you want to whitelist either 
stone or the wood you're using. I'm going to go stone, and then you want to specify that you can only put one of them out, or else it'll attempt to take all of them and put them out. So then connect that, and then you want to check for your other one. So if you've placed stone, you have stone, but then do you go and attempt to place wood? No, because then it'll just spit the wood out. So then you want to check again for the current block gate upside to have any of stone or the log you're working with. That's not how you spell oak. The log or come on, cobble or living wood or living rock. living rock or living wood. So if you again don't have any, that means you're out of stone in the chest, then you want to take the output. Since the input continues going through this condition, you want to take the output to the current on the upside. And this time you want to whitelist the log or the stone if you chose to put the log first. And you want to make sure to always put one. Cool. So now we can put this up here. Drag these out a little. Move this up. Drag this one out. You can clean up those later. But now, if we grab stone, girl stack, or oak wood, now let's just put eight of each in there. Now you'll see it'll place them down. And it'll do stone before the wood. So, like that. So that is the basics to automating the Pure Daisy with Steve's Factory Manager. There are ways in Batania by itself to do it. You can do full Batania automation with only Batania. But Steve's Factory Manager makes it really easy and... If you were to automate it with the Batania only, you'd have to go all the way to the level of getting the Elfheim portal before you would be able to do that. This is an easy starting out way to do it, and it will output the finished living rock and living wood to the chest when it's all done creating them. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am Matt, and this has been a Botania Pure Daisy automation tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.